Daily Mix. I'm your host, Gina Cheatham, AKA the Clever Connoisseur, your budget-friendly luxury lifestyle specialist. This summer has gone by so quickly, don't you think? I can't believe there's only one full week of summer left. I, well, not really summer, but August. Then it's September and then, ah, oh, time flies when you're having so much fun. So make sure you use these next few weeks to make the most of it. There's so much going on in St. Louis from Missouri Style Week to restaurant crowdfunding and winery trips. I have all the excitement you need, so make sure you keep watching because tonight it's all about St. Louis fashion, food, and beauty, all the things I love. So speaking of beauty, our guest for this evening is Kevin I Do, hairstylist and makeup artist of the stars. So don't you go anywhere. It's time to start one of the best hours on television. So let's get in the mix. Oh my goodness. Before we get started though, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Have you all seen Twitter this evening? My goodness. Michael Epps has done it again. That darn Day Day? Day Day got caught by his wife on Twitter inviting another woman to direct message him. But guess what? Michelle was like, oh, sweetheart, I'm not having it. And she stepped all up in the middle, middle and was like, ah! Breaks, pump him. And she told Miss Thang, she put it, she brought down his Twitter page, put up a new postage that says, you've been blocked. Bam. Oh my God. How funny is that when your wife busts you in front of the whole world and now everybody's tweeting about how you got busted. Day Day, you should know better. But you know, he's funny and I'm sure if I was a fly on the wall, I'd probably be falling off the wall laughing at the excuses he's trying to come up with right about now. But speaking of funny men, <laughs> that clown Kevin Hart's coming to town this weekend. I hope you've gotten your tickets because they're almost sold out. But guess what? If God is good, I will be right there with you laughing my assets off. So you thought I was going to cuss. I didn't. I said assets. And I will be right there in the seats waiting with you all to get my laugh on. But at any rate, let me hurry up and get this party started once again and on to the next one. Um, this weekend, I was out in the Central West End and I went out to ask everybody in the community, because you know how we're doing it this season, you're going to jabber with Gina in the streets. So I hit the streets of the Central West End to ask the question of the week, which, of course, we're talking everything fashion. What do you love most about fashion? It's the perfect question, right? Since Missouri Style Week is just a week away. So let's take a quick look at what these gentlemen had to say. You are going to be laughing. That we are able to express ourselves. Um, I love people watching and seeing what the current trends are going on and um, seeing how people are expressing themselves that day. You know, if you're in a good mood, you'll wear something where you want to be noticed. If you're not feeling that great, maybe you'll just wear something a little more casual. But fashion really enables us to express ourselves. As someone who doesn't know much about fashion, the learning process is what I like most about fashion. I had a store on Fire Island for four years, and all different types of people, all men's clothing. So someone would come in that were, they'd always wear a baggy swim trunk, and I'd put them in their first Speedo and change their life. So I think flexibility, something fun, you could dress up, you could dress down, and good fit. And if it stops fitting, hold on to it. <laughs> I thought you would find that funny, especially this, the part about the Speedo. Put yourself in a Speedo and your whole life comes full circle. <laughs> well, don't forget to send your quirky, crazy, or clever questions to jabberwithgina at stltv.net. And if you send a question in this week, I have a surprise for you, which I will reveal a little later in the show. Now, since this week is all about fashion, I'd be remiss if I didn't start off by telling you about all the seasoned designers who will be a part of Missouri Style Week, wouldn't I? So, we're going to start off with Miss Nichelle Juliana, who hails from Puerto Rico, but currently lives in St. Louis, Missouri, where she is an assistant design professor for Lindenwood University's fashion design program. However, she previously lived in Savannah, Georgia, where she was a professor of fashion illustration at the Savannah School of Arts and Design and the owner of Minted Design Studio. 
The Chalet Juliana has nearly a decade of experience in fashion, technical design, and draping, and she's worked as a technical designer for Gatsby Industries, as well as a draper for Donna Karen, who makes the most beautiful evening, elegant evening gowns. I'm elegant evening gowns, yes, all that. And our beloved Oscar de la Renta. Ooh, I bet you that was an experience. And in addition, she's also very crafty when it comes to fine sewing techniques and tailoring. She worked with Italian designer Cristiano Carciani. That's right. However, she credits Ralph Rucci as having the most influence on her overall design aesthetic. He is the couturier of America. Um, I think uh, he inspired me to always have good finishings in my clothes and have very design, very very good design elements, but need to be simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. And simplicity can be very beautiful. Nichelle is definitely an expert at creating the perfect structured ready-to-wear outfit for the independent lady on the go. In fact, her designs remind me a lot of Kushni and Oach. If you know anything about them, they do a lot of architectural designs. It's very simple, yet very elegant. I love them. Now, you won't want to mix this next designer, Mr. Richard Cotto. He's also from St. Louis and debuted his first collection in the United States at Missouri Style Week last year. He's enrolled at Lindenwood University, where he's currently pursuing a graduate degree in fashion design. Before setting roots in Missouri, though, Richard studied fashion design at the University of Tarabo in Puerto Rico. He's been a part of a group of designers in charge of the clothing for Miss Puerto Rico Universe for years. He's also worked with many, many international celebrities. And I'd definitely be remiss if I did not talk about our girl, Miss Tiffany Ray. She's been here on the show before and we love her. She's from Roberts, Missouri, and she's an internationally published fashion accessory designer known for her creative abilities and pushing the limits of fashion. Her brand includes everything from wearable art to wearable technology. Tiffany's first major runway, was, runway show was Missouri Style Week last year as well. And since then, she's been invited to participate in fashion weeks all around the world. In fact, right now she's in Vegas. However, her participation in this year's Missouri Style Week is going to top them all and is very special because she will debut her new shoe collection. Yes, honey, you see that? Yes, I love it. I need to add it to my collection straight away. And if you mess with me, I might just spike you. So not only will season and emerging designers showcase their collections, but a couple of boutiques will also be featured um, at the show as well. Both are located in Columbia, Missouri, and they are Muse, Muse Boutique and Swank Boutique. You ask, why Columbia? Well, the first night of Missouri Style Week is going to get kicked off in Missouri, in Columbia, Missouri, so that other people in our region will have an opportunity to showcase their fairs as well, their talents. So, early in the show, I told you that we'd have a surprise for the first person who sends a question to Jabber with Gina. So it's time to reveal the prize. The lucky viewer who sends their question in to Jabber with Gina at STL TV this week will receive VIP passes to Missouri Style Week. So hurry up and get your question in before it's too late. That's right. So you can sit right next to me on the front row while we take in all the fashions. Nothing like a fashion show with fashion. Well, if you don't win the tickets or if you can't make it to Style Week, there are a few other events you should attend. Check them out. First, we've got Fall Arts Preview hosted by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch and Feast Magazine. A preview of the fall arts season taking place in St. Louis as well as a sneak peek into the work of local emerging artists. And guests can expect live art in a mirrored form through live painting, dance performance, live music and more. You can also enjoy tastings from Evangeline's Bistro mm, and Music House Cupcake, Amori and Tony's Restaurant along with Prohibition Lounge. Lily's Music and Social House will also be in attendance as well as Tenacious Eats and free drink samples. We love free drink samples, at least I do. And the Riverfront Times published an article this past Friday titled 
10 unusual offerings from St. Louis breweries. According to the blog post, both St. Louis economy and cultural identity became linked to the production and consumption of beer. Hmm, who'd have thunk it? Back in the 1830s. Wow, not the 1930s, but the 1830s. And some of the names include Wicca Weed, Peace Offering, Philly Taco, Philly Taco, Cherry Chocolate Beer, and Toasted Ravioli. Now, I understand that, because every St. Louis loves, St. Louis and loves a little toasted ravioli. But I never thought about drinking it. I can only imagine what it tastes like. Some of them probably taste a little like cheese, a little like chocolate, and a little like sour wheat. Ugh. But that's okay. Some people like sour wheat, I'm just saying. Anyway, that's why I stick with wine. Simple and sweet, just like me. <laughs> Yes, whether you're a seasoned wine drinker or just starting out, join me, the clever connoisseur, at Le Bourgeois Winery on September 19th. You don't want to miss this delectable day. In fact, you can enjoy a tour of the fabulous orchard, taste the marvelous selections of delicious wines, and be entranced with the smooth sounds of saxophonist Leo Q. Davis. That's right, we'll depart from Cicero's in, U in the U-City Loop at nine in the morning. Tickets are available on Eventbrite, so I will sit and see you there. Now, I promise you my special guest, Mr. Kevin, I do, and he definitely does. He does all of that for Gazelle STL Magazine and for Missouri Style Week, and he'll be joining me right here on the set. Kevin, where are you? Hi. Hey, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for having me. Yes, I am so excited to let people see the man with the magic hands behind the scenes at and the S injured one. Okay. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. You were putting on all the makeup and all that stuff and then you burnt your hand with a rope. So that's what you tell them. Mm -hmm. At any rate, <laughs> tell us what what is it that you do? Well, I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist, and I do, I work in a salon as well as I do various works, uh, different magazines, things like that. Like you said before, Gazelle STL and Gazelle West. Okay, and so, have you always worked in hair and makeup? For about the last 20 years. Wow. So have you ever worked on other celebrities outside of St. Louis? I did work on Gone Girl when it was being shot down in um, wherever that was. Um, I was in the hair department on that movie. Ooh. Um, and other corporate accounts. Okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So what is it that you do specifically for Gazelle? I, my title there is I'm a beauty contributor. So I do all the covers and the fashion spreads, the hair and the makeup, and then I have uh, a beauty article that I write every month. Mmm. So uh, do you get to keep all the wonderful fashions when they're done? No. They have to go back to the store. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. I was hoping that <laughs> you'd tried, say yes. I've tried. I'd be like, ooh, can I get some? I'm just joking. <clears throat> but at any rate, I wanted to ask you about what we can expect for Missouri Style Week, or if you can reveal the secrets. Can't reveal those secrets just yet. You're gonna to have to attend the show to see. Okay, well then let me <laughs> ask you another question. Okay. Um, let me, how, how can I phrase this? What's hot on the runway this season? Right now we're seeing for, for fall, because we're coming into fall, some more uh, very wearable looks. They can be easily translated down to the real woman. Um, it's fall, so of course you're gonna see a smoky eye, but the difference this year is it's, it's really, really diffused out, really blended out. Um, and one of my favorites is um, a metallic eye accent. Ooh, it, I put a little metallic on today. Am I, did I do it? You did it. Yay, I did that. And I didn't even I tell did you. I did that. Hey, I'm excited, I'm excited. You know I've always been a trendsetter. <laughs> but um, <coughs> how do you take that look, you know, because Definitely, this isn't a runway eye. <coughs> Excuse me. What, what would you say, or how do you go from the runway to reality? The easiest way to, to describe that would be just to create a softer effect with it. And, and what's that mean? Lighter, I guess. <laughs> just a little lighter? A little bit lighter in the application of that because with, you know, in real life compared to on a runway from 20, 30, 40 feet away. Okay. And, oh. What's the lip for this this coming oh, fall? Oh, the lip, the lip. It's a we red lip for fall. We all need to know the lip. It's a red lip for fall, but the big the big difference is it's almost vampy. It's almost like back to the 90s where it's almost that red black or even like a red eggplant color. 
Oh, so you're telling me this hot red. No, that's perfect for now. Are you, well, for now. Yeah. Well, you we're know, and I kind of summertime. We're so still like in summer. So like kind of a red orange, so we're going to go more bluish reds. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I can see that. And in terms of hair, what can we expect for the fall? Well, we're still seeing the beachy wavy look, that soft, almost undone kind of bedhead look. Um, up styles are, are being shown a lot, but they're a lot looser, almost kind of like psh, you put it up and that was it. Like no, must two no hairpins and that's it. That's and if it, it falls down, oh well. If it falls down, then you got the beachy wave look. Oh, see, now see, if my hair falls down, I will have the beachy <laughs> wave look, y'all. So I'm just going to pin it right on up. <laughs> You may need three pins, not two. <laughs> three pins, and then when it falls down, you know, I'll just have the beachy wave look. And, and so, we'll wait till then. Y'all, if you catch me on the street with the beachy wave look, just holler at your girl, just holler at me. Well, St. Louis, that's all I have tonight. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time. Live the high life for low cost and keep your coins in your purse. And everybody say hi to Kevin I do, because he does. <laughs> and thank you. We'll see you at Missouri Style Week. Yes, I'm will. so looking forward thank to it. You. And I'll talk to you on the red carpet. How are you today? I'll be taking a look. Take care.